interested, but um, I started singing in the church choir with my mom and my sister. So that actually taught me a lot about harmonizing and listening to other people and trying to find notes because I didn't read notes really anything at a young age. And um, after that I just, I was in concert band in grade school and played saxophone and was in marching band and all that kind of nerdy stuff. <laughs> um, but I always wanted to play the guitar. Always. <laughs> I was a real big Jimi Hendrix fan. My very young teenage years. So I wanted to do that really young. And I got my first guitar, which is actually that beauty. Oh, she's gonna. <laughs> that beauty of a blue guitar with all those awesome stickers from the early 90s. <laughs> When I was a kid, I remember I remember being like four or five years old, and I saw I saw some Native Americans singing on uh, I think it was like Reading Rainbow or something like that, mm -hmm. and uh, I I do know that that had a huge impact on me because I love that sound that that classic like just that wailing sound that sounds like coyotes in the night, you know what I mean? That sound of like just like multiple voices in unison just kind of like that warbling kind of just wailing uh coyote sound you know that, that I, I know that had a, a big impact on me so that that could also be where that that sort of like uh tribal sound might might come the from the best way yeah. that i can ever describe it to people even my girlfriend too is like during band practice clint and skylar are very illustrated and so when they want to hear a sound part, they will always be like, do you know that feeling you got when you were a kid and you'd be watching like a Disney movie or something for the first time or like that scene and they're like walking down the line and they, you have, they have this march and then it's just like that feel like they go into such detail and it truly, truly does bring that feeling. And like when you hear it, you're like, oh yeah, I do know what you're talking about. Like that feeling. So every time they're like bringing something in, they're like, no, you know what I mean? Like, I just want something at this part where it's like, mm, I'm staying the night at a friend's house and his mom just went to this movie and it's the first thing you watch that movie so you're just excited and then out of nowhere she's like, how about it? Or something. And so, and like, oh man. You know so, what I'm yeah. saying? So it's very, like, they always bring that apart, like the feeling of it, of so, like something so detailed and so it can really bring that to us when we play it. Because I think it's... Hot back it! My name's Derek Hart. I'm from Topeka, Kansas. I moved to Peoria, Illinois in 2003. I lived there for a few months, moved away, came back a couple years later, lived there for a couple years, and uh, I've gotten to meet many of the fine people and musicians in Peoria.
made music because I value being creative and working with others and meeting people and impressing people and feeling cool. <laughs>